Egypt aims to collaborate with nine other countries to finish the construction of a motorway connecting the countries north to Cape Town, South Africa, by 2024, in the hopes of boosting trade on the continent. This proposal was revealed earlier this year when Transport Minister Kamal El Wazir told the House of Representatives that his ministry is working on multiple road projects to connect Egypt with its neighbors. According to the minister, Egypt will complete the Cairo-Cape Town Highway that will cross through nine African countries as part of Egypt's efforts to connect with neighboring countries. The Cairo-Cape Town Highway is a route between Cairo and Cape Town which was first proposed by the British Empire in the 19th century when an effort to build the Cape to Cairo Railway failed to occur. In the 1980s the plan was revived with modifications as the Cairo-Cape Town Highway, also known as Trans-African Highway 4, in the transcontinental road network being developed by the United Nations Economic Commission for Africa, the African Development Bank and the African Union, as part of the Trans-African Highway Network. According to the Egyptian minister, the Pan-African Highway has been slightly modified as it would begin in Egypt from the coastal city of Alexandria and go through Cairo on its way to the Arkan crossing on the Egyptian-Sudanese border. The 10,288-kilometer Pan-African road would cross through Egypt through Sudan, South Sudan, Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Zambia, Zimbabwe, and Botswana and South Africa, ending in Cape Town. Kamal El Wazir revealed that the 1,155-kilometer section of the road in Egypt would reach Arkan by 2024 and connect from there with Wadi Halfa in Sudan and continue to connect with other countries. The Trans-African Road is estimated to cost $1.7 billion. However, it's unclear whether the ongoing standoff between Egypt, Sudan, and Ethiopia over Addis Ababa's Nile River Megadam project would stymie efforts to complete the Mega Road project. Kamal El Wazir also revealed that Egypt is currently building a 1,102-kilometer route to connect with Chad through Libya at an estimated cost of $1.4 billion. They also working to construct a 585-kilometer coastal highway from Salem in western Egypt to Benghazi in eastern Libya at a cost of $190.6 million. Egypt's road projects with neighboring nations are aimed at achieving sustainable development, promoting trade interchange with Egypt's neighbors, and improving access to Arab and African markets for Egyptian goods. However, the African Development Bank, in collaboration with the UN Economic Commission for Africa and the African Union, is co-financing the Cairo-Cape Town Road. Kamal El Wazir previously stated in an interview with MBC Master Channel that his ministry is in talks with the African Development Bank to seek a financing for the Trans-African Road project for $1.4 billion. He also revealed in the interview that the African Development Bank and the Egyptian budget will fund the Cairo-Cape Town Road. In another development, the director of the African Development Bank country office in Egypt, Malin Bloomberg, said in August 2020 on the sidelines of the annual meetings of the bank that Trans-African roads help reduce the high cost and time of transporting goods and boost economic integration among the African countries. According to Bloomberg, the African Development Bank is keen on supporting the Cairo-Cape Town Road as it will serve large numbers of people and enhance the movement of goods in Egypt and other parts of Africa. She also confirmed that the African Development Bank intends to increase its support to the transport sector in Egypt, in parallel with other priorities set by the Egyptian government. In an interview with Al Monitor, Magdi Sala, a professor of highway and transportation engineering at Cairo University, also confirmed the importance of the project. According to Magdi Sala, the Cairo-Cape Town Road is a milestone project that will achieve land connectivity and increase trade exchange with African countries. He revealed that the Pan-African Cross-Border Highway would reduce the time it took for Egyptian exports to reach African markets, especially agricultural products. The Pan-African Road will help the government achieve economic development and strengthen its position on the African continent. The road project, which was revived in 2015 by the Egyptian government, has been delayed due to a shortage of financing, according to Salah. It appears that the Egyptian government has secured the required money for the project and is working diligently to complete it by 2024.
During the second Belt and Road Forum in Beijing in April 2019, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi stated that the Cairo Cape Town Road intends to boost inter-African commerce and investment. He stated that Egypt applaud efforts to strengthen the current relationship as part of the Belt and Road Initiative with China and other parties to contribute to the African continent's efforts to accomplish sustainable development goals and improve the living standards of African people. Egypt's economic exchange with Libya was $899 million in 2019, $608 million with Sudan, $550 million with Kenya, $173 million with South Africa, and $144 million with Ethiopia, according to the Egyptian National Statistics Office CAPMAS. All five countries would be connected by the Cairo Cape Town Highway project. Egypt is a signatory to numerous African multilateral trade accords, notably the Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa and the African Continental Free Trade Area. Egypt's trade with the Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa increased by 19.1% to $3.9 billion in 2019, up from $3.2 billion in 2018. Also, the Egyptian exports to the Pan-African bloc increased to $2.8 billion in 2019, up from $2.3 billion the year before, according to Minister of Industry and Trade, Nevin Gami. The Sisi government, according to Abdel Madaleb Abdel Hamid, an economics professor at Cairo's Sadat Academy, is mobilizing resources to quadruple Egypt's exports and commerce with African countries. Abdel Haid told Al Monitor that Egypt wants to grow exports to Africa to $30 billion in three to five years, and the Cairo Cape Town Road will assist the government in achieving this goal. He credited the Egyptian government for implementing an ambitious plan to revamp road and rail networks across the country with a view to enhancing trade relations with Egypt's neighbors. As part of its attempts to promote business and create an investment-friendly climate, Egypt has created a 7,000-kilometer national road network and is extending the country's rapid transit and railway networks. The North African country and Siemens struck an agreement earlier this year to create a high-speed electric railway network from Ain Sakna on the Red Sea coast to New Alamein on the Mediterranean Sea. These initiatives according to Abdel Hamid support the government's goal of attracting foreign investment, encouraging business, and achieving sustainable development as part of Egypt's Vision 2030. In another development, Egypt and Sudan struck an agreement in October last year to create a cross-border railway network to transport both passengers and goods between the two countries as part of efforts to increase bilateral trade interchange. If you enjoyed this video and would like to get more from a definitive information about trends and mega constructions projects in Africa, subscribe to the New Africa channel so you don't miss out on any of our future videos.